Updated plans for a new family birthing center at the Guam Royal Hospital were unveiled last week. Spearheaded by OBGYN Dr. Tom Shea, the idea was born out of the need to renovate and update the obsolete labor and delivery room at GMH. To this day, Dr. Shea points out it consists of multiple rooms that moms have to be wheeled in and out of while giving birth, a painstaking process that Dr. Shea believes is inhumane. After months of brainstorming, Dr. Shea says architects have finally come up with a design that will benefit all families. And he says it was created with input from not just himself, but from nurses at the hospital as well. The reason we did that, Governor, is because we had input for every single, almost every single nurse on every floor that's coming in. And I keep saying Brent and Zaldi and Will, I said, too many cooks in the kitchen. Just let me design it. And they said, oh, we can't do that. We've got to get everybody involved. So this is the product of one of the biggest projects. Even in Hawaii, we don't have that many nurses involved in building such a project. So this is something that you all should be proud of. You in fact, he says it will not just be a birthing center, but a family birthing center to include a neonatal intensive care unit, a lactation education conference room, as well as nursing stations. We want to make it a family birth center, and not just a birthing center, but a family birthing center, so that we can have um, visits. We're going to have to change the policy once things built, so we can have more visitors coming in. Um, again, future of one. Now, you're moving it four to five times just before you give it, before you give it, that, that's, that's really inhumane, so we're going to change that. The project is estimated to cost between seven to ten million dollars. You can read more about the project at PacificNewsCenter.com.